less tags on popsicles for summer. I have my Word document open up. I'm going to insert in pictures online. I'm gonna look for a scallop frame. I typed in PNG scallop frame because I wanted PNG to include a transparent background. I'm gonna see if they have anything that I like. Kinda like that. I'm gonna go with this one. It looks kinda basic. I'm gonna draw the corners in just a little bit and adjust it just a little. And I'm gonna make sure that it's about three inches. I always say three inches is about a good size for a tag. Make sure that it's behind the text with the wrap there. And it'll allow me to move it around the screen. Um, the image you see off to the right is the popsicle bit emoji I found, which inspired me making this tag. Now I'm going to my shapes and I'm going to get a circle. And I'm going to draw a circle. I'm stretch it out a little bit to kind of fill up that frame. I'm going to do no fill. And I'm going to make the outline black. I'm going to go back to the outline area. Once I adjust this, once again I'm changing the wrap to be behind the text. So I'll stretch this out, trying to get it as close to the other outline. Alright, I'm going to change the effects of the circle. Do I want these dots or do I want the lines? Let's see. I'm going to change the size so you can see the different variations of the size. I don't really like that. I need to go to the dots. I like the dots better. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. But here's some other options. Those could be neat, but I'm just going to go back with the dots. All right, I'll go ahead and stretch this out to fit within that shape. I like this already. It already kind of looks like a sun, and we're talking about summer, entering into summer. So that looks good. All right, put my image in there. And try to adjust it so I can add some text. Um, for some reason, my image is behind the frame. I'm going to have to move all of this over just to get my image again. Yeah, it's already in the back. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna scoot it over and get my image out and bring my image to the front. So I'll move that back into place and then I'll click on my image and go up to format and go over here to bring to the front. And that way I'll be able to adjust it and move it around because it's on the front layer of this tag now. So I'm going to check out some sizing, what will be okay to add text, because right now the only thing it says is stay cool. I'm going to word art, and I'm going to select this blue, because stay cool is in blue. And stay cool this. I'm going to highlight that and try to change the font size. It needs to be a little bit smaller. But first I'm going to look at the effects of the font. Hmm. All right, I'm going to move this a little bit, and that way I can see my options a little bit better. So that's kind of nice. I'm just looking through the, this one looks good. I'm going to stick with this one, make it bold, and I'm going to outline, and then the effects outline, I'm going to go to a lighter blue, so it looks like it has like a little shadow on it. Now I'm going to glow, and this allows a little bit of a 
shadow kind of it's supposed to be glowing but to me it looks like a shadow in the same tone so it's in a blue tone I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and play around with it to see um, what will look good now I'm gonna go to transform and I'm gonna see if I curve it does that kind of blend all of this is way too much I think I'm just gonna have to keep it the same that is actually okay that's not none of these effects really match the stay cool so I'm gonna keep it normal yeah I don't like any of this so I'm gonna keep it the same and just try to tilt it a little bit and see if that makes it kind of nice yeah, a little bit make it a little bit smaller All right, I've copied it and I'm pasting it that way um, the effects are already there the outlines there the glows there and now I'm just going to change the wording I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to put summer so the sentiment will be stay cool this summer good I'm adjusting that that summer looks way too long so I'm going to have to try to play around with it for a little bit but this is just giving you an idea of different things that you can do to create your own tags or buttons or uh, seals. Let's see. Tilting it. I actually kind of like the tilt when they were in alignment. It looks like summer's kind of surfing with me, but summer's so long. I'm going to leave it like this, I'm just going to have to angle the other side. Let's pull myself up a little bit. I'm trying to get the word summer off my arms, but it really doesn't look like it'll fit too much in a circle. I'm going back where I started and just tilt this a little bit more. Yeah, that looks different. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Okay, but whatever you do, just play around to what looks good for you. Right now, I'm just going to be adjusting this. All right, and then next, I'm going to do word art. And I'm going to type in my next sentiment, which is, I love you. Because I'm sending the students off to enjoy their summer. But I want them to know how much I care about them. And I'm using the same blue. I could have even just copied and pasted so it'll look exactly the same. But now I'll just do the same thing. I'll shrink it down the fit within the circle. I'm going to go and um, move it over to see how much room I have to play with. And I'll probably need to yeah, change the font some. That looks good. Uh, I like that too. Okay, let's adjust it a little bit. I'm not going to keep this one straight. I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to curve it in the opposite direction. There you go. And I'll just pull it up some underneath the surfboard or popsicle <laughs> just so it'll look like it is meant to be this way since the shape of the frame is circular all right and I was trying to stretch it to see if I can get it to curve a little bit lower but that doesn't seem to be working out so I'm gonna have to keep it the way it is and just pull it up some that's about as good as I can get on the curve and I like it it's fine And I'm um, going to make an outline on it just like I did before and add some glow to it. I'm trying the different glow effects. 
and that made it look too blurry and that's changing the actual tone so I don't like that I'm just gonna have to go with the first one okay and so now it kind of matches summer a little bit just a little bit smaller a little bit curved now I'm gonna add a shape which is a heart and I'm gonna go up to the color and change this heart to a pink tone and this yeah, will give me and then I'm gonna take the outline off no outline and I'll adjust it some and I'm just gonna copy this and then paste it so I have some hearts around it and this will add a little bit more color to the tag I'll paste a few more and just kind of move them around and resize them by dragging in the corners but decorating this little tag I don't want it totally in the center because I'll punch a hole up there once I laminate it to tie it to the popsicles um, I add one more sentiment with word art and that will be my name Mrs. Mitchell and I'm going to leave it in black to coordinate with the frame and I'm going to change the font to be a little bit more scripted and of course it needs to be smaller that will be a decent size now go over here in the home and just change fonts I like this one and I'll make it bold and I'll add it to the bottom and I I like it I like the tag the way it is I'll add a heart kind of to each side of my name but I like it and once again this is just to give you an idea you can always be as creative or as simple as you like some people may think all those hearts look a little cluttered but I think they're just fine so I like it and that's uh, I'm creating it for me but you put your personal touch on the things that you like so I'm gonna have to scale this down and once again I just want to get a heart on each side of my name I hope this has been helpful I hope you have subscribed for more more content more tutorials more information more stories uh, my channel is full of DIYs, um, actually some teaching, some read-alouds, lessons, hacks. The vlogging part is pretty much kind of reviews and different things like that. But I think there's content for um, all walks of life, but you could always learn something new. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Bye.